Hello guys, so I have fresh box but with a very old kit inside it. 1 to 32 scale, only 20 details in this box. It's Chevy Corvette C3 and we turn it in kind of Mad Max style car. The first production of this kit was in USA in 80s, so it is cheap old model which can be used for rookie modelers or for some experiments. The body of this car, not bad in general, transparent parts, I'm not sure about connection of them, vinyl tires, even with some markings on the sides of it, but, but discs and bumpers here in chrome looks poor. And the rest of the parts. Uh, you can see here uh, connection points, so it can be assembled even without glue, I think. Some interior is also present in this model. And not bad new decals for old plastic. Ok, first of all we can insert discs inside tires. They look uh, like uh, wheels from a toy. But the main problem of them that they are too small for this body, this car. For my Mad Max conversion I will try to replace them to some other wheels. By the way we have instruction, it looks like a newspaper and uh, there is an assembling process, it is very short because of small quantity of details in this kit. We use instruction only for decal supplying process. Ok, interior, we can put here two seats even without glue. But we will install them later after painting process. I'm just exploring how it uh, have to be. Ok, understood. So now we can finally can uh, do some bad stuff with this kit. I want to add more aggressive style to this car. First of all, I decided to remove plastic uh, from the places where mechanical open headlights located. Plastic here where is sick, so we have to be very careful in a work. At first I do notches, uh, remove small amount of plastic on the edges with the help of knife. It was difficult to do, but now I can use some heavy instruments for this task and remove all other plastic here. Oof, looks not very good. You can close your eyes if you are not ready for such modeling issues. Just joking. Finally, with a sharp knife we can make some corrections. And we received this. Much better as for me. And we don't need to hear perfection, because anyway, we add here some rusty effects. Next step I decided to go even further and let's remove the roof of this car. So to do that we can make notches from the both sides of the plastic. Yep, I damaged the roof, it was more than expected. And in the end I cut off it with the usage of my favorite tool. Actually the best way to remove the roof and uh, other similar pieces of plastic with the help of electric cutting instruments. Well, if you have. Our next step, interior. It was connected uh, because there are a lot of gaps around the connection points, so now it will be easier to fix them, to fill that gaps before the model will be painted. Actually our Corvette doesn't have cargo section here, but we will do it. I found some barrels and canisters from Tamiya, I guess, at my storage. So, the main idea is to remove this big piece of plastic again and put here two German 200 liter barrels. Well, everyone needs a lot of fuel, especially in post apocalypse wastelands where it's very difficult to find a fuel. Plastic here is not so thick as on the front part of our model, so it's easier to remove it. Ok, now we can check how it will be. Barrels were prepared, each one consists from four details. Not very carefully assembled, but it's ok. As for body, I made edges where we removed plastic thinner and sharper, so now it's a look not like armor of a tank, but like a metal of the car. 
also upgraded our headlight section. Well, spaces for them. I did that with the pieces of cardboard and a super glue. Also, we have some progress with the bumpers. Front bumper looks not very good. We have to do some stuff with it. Yep, these wheels too small even for a stock car. Must have to replace them. Barrels finally installed with the help of thick glue. So now I can connect rear part of the vehicle with the rest part of our car. Let's hide some not very beautiful holes with the plastic and a glue. Extra thin glue works here not very good, so I used thick one. Before our main two parts of the car will be connected together, I add here some plastic sandwich. Uh, because stock connection points were partially removed, and in general they were not so good. Also remove some plastic for big wheels. So now it's look like this. Another upgrade, I took plastic tubes from uh, plastic frames for details for models, so now we have more powerful construction here, like in a rally cars. Also some plastic for uh, barrels handling. But it looks rude, so I replace it with uh, some other plastic details. Yep, now much better. If we talk about bumpers, I thought a lot about them, but in the end I have decided just add thin plastic around the stock bumpers. While the rear bumper looks not so bad, the front one is uh, not okay. So I will finish later a little bit when I found uh, some fresh ideas for it. Finally I solved problem with wheels. I had as a spare wheels for this project uh, from German Kubelwagen, but they are too small, and from several Soviet trucks in 1 to 35 scale. And in the end I choose doubled wheels from the Soviet World War II truck Z6. For our car in 1 to 32 scale, our 1 to 35 scale wheels looks like wheels from off-road vehicle, from SUV, not so big, not so small wheels. And looks here pretty cool. As for front bumper, decided to remove some plastic and add more as an additional layer. Also more plastic on the rear part to our car. Well, I do that mostly to hide some defects, some gaps, empty spaces and cover the connection of uh, exhausting pipes. Yep, you can see here doubled exhausting pipes that was made from ear sticks. And we also can find here such a handler that can be used uh, for some tools or for some weaponry. Okay, finally painting process. As the first layer I choose a red-brown primer and covered it with a gloss varnish. So now this car looks like a chocolate. Red-brown primer will play a good role for further chipping effects of this model. Then for this purpose I will use such a chipping liquid, which often uses for imitation of winter camouflage on ski models. So it were used a layer of the primer, of the gloss varnish, of chipping liquid, and now finally we use a layer of dark grey base color with a few drops of blue. So now this model looks similar to burnt metal. Now we can remove partially upper layer of black paint with a hand brush. I just use here brush and a water. Water makes a reaction with that chipping liquid, so upper layer of paint can be easily scratched. You can scratch the layer of base paint to condition you want to achieve. After that, to increase rust effects, I added more chipping effects with a dark brown color. With the help of a hand brush, it makes our rusty effects deeper. After that, one more chipping layer with the help of dark rust paint. And in the end, add medium rust color, only on the edges 
of details. And here is the final result. Additionally, there was used uh, light brown oils with a mix of the great oils to imitate some dusty effects on the wheels and on the horizontal surfaces of our cart and also inside gear. Barrels was painted with uh, acrylic paints with the help of handbrush. And actually, I had only two weeks to make such a conversion from ordinary scale model to something like Mad Max car. And such a cheap and simple plastic scale model like this Revels Chevy is very good choice for such a conversion. And I think for such a short time we received not bad result. Yep, anyone can do such conversion in their own way. With the spikes, harpoon, I don't know, with anything. By the way, at first I decided to do scorpion or arbalest as the main weaponry for this car, and actually I did that, but I think it looks here a little bit uh, weird, so there will be no armament on this car. Anyway, that was fun experience. I'm happy of it, and I hope you enjoy this process and this video also. So, good luck, have a nice day, and goodbye.